All right, um, obviously disappointing outcome. Um, really, I mean, really as flat as I've ever been around a group of guys in the first half. Um, you know, we did a bad job of getting those guys ready to, to come out and, you know, and play hard. I mean, that first half was uh, pretty, you know, embarrassing, um, really. And then, uh, you know, guys did a good job of settling down, coming out, fighting through the second half. But, you know, that's not good enough at this point. We have different expectations. So um, we got to come out, and uh, we looked um, – we looked definitely off in that first half, and you know, especially that touchdown right before the end. You know, that, that extended that, and it just you know makes that that hole you're in a lot tougher to come out of. So, uh, it's kind of where we're at. Uh, Well, we did in the second half. The first half, we, we didn't get them off the field, and a lot of it has to do with the offense. You know, so, I mean, it, it, you know, you, those whole things work together. When you look at the games we've had where we've had success, we've been able to move the chains consistently, uh, be able to give, you know, give, give the defense time off the field. Um, and, and we were really poor on third downs. I mean, really, when you look at that first half, we were so poor on, uh, on third downs. I forgot what the stat was. I looked at it at halftime, and um, I think there were four or five or maybe more than that. I don't even know. Um, but time of possession, that really dictates that. It just extends those drives. And, um, and you know, we, we definitely were not in a rhythm first half on offense. I mean, it all dictates that. When, you, when we run the ball well and we're moving the chains, we usually win the time of possession. When you don't do that, you usually lose the time of possession. As much momentum as you had coming into this game, was that 35 point goal just stunning? I mean, did, did I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, it's stunning regardless of the momentum. It could have been week one, it could have been week ten, coming off a loss, coming off a win, 35 points in the first half. I mean, it's, you know, it's not stunning because we had momentum. It's stunning because, you know, we should never be up, we should never give up that many points in a half. Um, and it wasn't all the defense, too. I mean, you have that, you know, I mean, you have a, a bad ball thrown behind the back. The back doesn't catch it in his arms, ends up leading to that. And, you know, that, that led to that play. So, um, yeah, disappointed. I told our guys, I've been very proud of them a lot of times. Um, and not just them, I mean, with us, I mean, we, we all own it together. But, you know, if I'm being honest with those guys, you know, we can't come in and, and play half of football like that. If we're going to move forward, I mean, that's part of the growing pains of the program. But, I mean, at some point, we got to be mature enough to come out and, and play with energy. We looked flat. We didn't look like we had much energy in the first half. I mean, you know, there's almost, there's only so much yelling and screaming and motivating you can do. At some point, you have to own it. As I, we all played the game, you've got to own it. You've got to come prepared. You've got to be ready to go. You've got to be focused. You have to be high energy. And that's something that you have to own as a player each and every day. And, uh, you know, we struggled for a half doing that. What do you attribute you think the lack of energy to? You know, I don't know. We'll go back and we'll talk about it. You know, I mean, I think um, immaturity, um, lack of success from a program, um, being in places we haven't been before, having expectations maybe we haven't had before. I don't know. There's a variety of different things, you know, but uh, it, it's not any bigger than one game. You know, I mean, it is, you know, that's what it is. And we just got to go back to the drawing board and we got to focus and we got to get ready to go, you know, fight against San Jose and get that fourth win. Was that your decision to make? The onside kick? The very first one. Yeah, absolutely. Here's the deal. I mean, you got to decide as a coach, do you want to look better in the press conference or do you want to win the game, right? And when you're down that much, we got to go for broke. You got to push your chips in. We're down by what was oh, more than what, four scores, right, at that point, right? Yeah, 25. So you need to score four times. So, and you're in the fourth quarter, it's down, and it's like, yeah, even if they know it's coming, we got to take some chances. Otherwise, we're just trying to get it close so we don't look bad. And that's, not, that was, that's never the goal. So that's why we did that. Dalton won at halftime. What did you, what, what was the plan in the second half? What, what were you trying to do to, to work in back? You know, the whole thing, the second half, I told her, guys, we're in a big hole. It, it, there's no point in worrying about trying to, out, you, know, out, you know, score more points than them you know, in the game. We got to make it as simple as one series on both sides of the ball. We got to go out, we got to move down, score seven points, get some stops on defense. If we do that, we may find ourselves in a situation where we're back in the game. And for a minute, we, you know, we started getting closer. There was enough time on the clock. And we just, you know, again, we give up that, uh, you know, <clears throat> we give up a big play, you know, right there on that first down. And, um, you know, that's tough. I mean, you know, again, we, it was a long shot coming out of halftime. So, you know, I've been there before. And I think, you know, when you're messaging to the team, it's really about, all right, let's just go one play at a time. Let's go ahead and chip away at it. And in the fourth quarter, let's see if we're close. He's young. He's young. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's one of those deals where you're still growing, you're still maturing. You know, I mean, he's he's still figuring things out. You know, he was really erratic with his delivery. Balls were really low, some skipping off, and a lot of them got batted down because of you know not throwing through holes and windows. Uh, I thought his eyes went down a lot in the game instead of keeping his eyes down the field. You know, to throw the football, he kind of you know was looking at the rush a little bit. Um, that comes with experience, you know, and just you know. 
know, in time. So he'll keep getting better. I mean, he, you know, he made some great plays in the second half. He continued to battle. I mean, um, no, he, he, he's a champ. He'll be, he'll be fine. We just got to keep working with him and moving forward. Dalton, yeah, I mean, you know, Johnny's he's a Mayday guy. He's hurt right now. He's not able to, he can't come out and run that same offense and do certain things. And Dalton had, what, 100 and some odd yards rushing. We can't expect that from, from Johnny, you know. So, um, you know, and, and again, you got to remember, too, it's kind of a ripple effect. I mean, you know, if, if you're, they were more physical than we were up front. I mean, that was kind of evident. We really struggled creating, you know, running lanes that we had, in, you know, against some other teams. They kind of, I thought they were a little more physical than we were up front. Um, we got to address that, obviously. Um, but when, when those things happen, it makes it tougher on the quarterback, you know, and um, so he'll, he'll be fine. You know, again, you know, we don't want to put Johnny in a bad situation. The biggest thing is, and our guys know this about me, I don't, have, I, I don't panic. You know, a lot of times you get in these situations, you're trying to rebuild something something, you want to have success so bad and we're working towards it, but you panic, you start pulling guys and doing this and that, you start blaming coordinators and doing with all, you look at the mess some programs are in right now because everybody wants to point the fingers and displace and just own it. We got our butt kicked today. We got our butt kicked for two quarters. We came back out, played better in the second half. That's not good enough. We're, we're a program that's maturing and growing and we're going to continue to get better, but you know what, we're just going to own it and move on. Well, you, 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 you recruit and you lift weights in the offseason. You know, I mean, it's one of those deals where, you know, I mean, again, it, it, early in the game, you know, I, I don't think we played with a lot of desire and emotion, and, and that plays into it because it's, it's a physical game. I mean, you, you, have to, you have to mentally be ready to go because it's a physically violent game, you know, and you have to own that part of it. I mean, that, that part will never change. So we had to do a better job of that. And, you know, really it's just, you know, we got to go back and look at it and really look, is it, was it was a scheme? Was it the lack of effort or was it the Jimmy and Joe that was just a little bit stronger and tougher? And, you know, and that's the challenge in this game is to recruit to a level and to build guys, not just recruit, develop to a level where your guys have that physicality. But it takes a long time to get that done. And we're getting much better at it. We've been, I mean, I think going into the game, we're like, what, 17th in the country in Russia and stuff. And, you know, we struggled at times here and there. But, you know, that's, you know, we're, we're all right. We're moving forward. We'll, we'll be fine.